everything is figure out a bowl. It's a new word coined by Marie Forleo. Everything is figure outable. But if you've heard that, that voice might be in your in your ears right now as you're trying to figure out why in the hell it's so hard to figure out a bowl, why Webinar Jam or EverWebinar's registration buttons, that little click to pop up to opt in to the EverWebinar or Webinar uh, Jam is not working when you try to implement it on your own website or a lead pages or click funnels or any external custom landing page that you're using to drive traffic. So I know that how frustrating that is uh, when you're trying your best to figure this stuff out and it, sometimes there's just that one little magic YouTube. So if you're watching this, I, I'm, I have compassion for you. You know, at Peaceful Media, our whole mission is to love more, play more, and do more good. And I know that this registration button from Webinar Jam slash EverWebinar is, it should not be holding you back from doing all the good that you want to do in the world. So what I decided to do is, as I was working with a client here today, um, Mandy Deaglesmith, over at mandydeaglesmith.com, uh, we were just talking about this, and I was trying to show her uh, how to do this, how to integrate it with the lead pages landing page. And I figured, you know what, well, let me just record this so you can watch this later and be able to do this on your own next time. So uh, without further ado, I'll just dive right into that training session that I recorded. It's pretty casual and fun and upbeat. So hopefully this will help you get on your way as soon as possible to get out there and uh, get registrants for your positive difference making event from Webinar Jam or Ever Webinar. All right, peace y'all. I'll see you later on Jam at Peaceful Media. Okay, Jam here at Peaceful Media with our wonderful client, Mandy Dugglesmith. She is the proud owner of a Lead Pages sub account and a phenomenal new funnel coming out to the world, all about how to finally end your dieting troubles. She has the secrets the only 5% know who succeed in their diet. And, but we are up against a problem because it's integration time. We have a custom opt-in page for an ever webinar slash webinar jam webinar. So how do we do it? Well, let's dive over to her ever webinar account. Now she has gone through most everything in the setup of this ever webinar. And during her process, she chose from the registration pages, registration style to do it with her own design. So what we needed first before we could do that was the URL of our lead page, wherever that lead page is gonna be hosted, whether that's embedded in a WordPress site or otherwise, or if you're using the lead pages URL, you just need to have that URL dialed so that you can tell whatever webinar, this is the opt-in page now. Okay, so once you plug that in and confirm, then when you come out to your finished webinar, the end of dieting, sexy, sexy hook, and we come over here to embed the registration box, we can grab all that code, copy the code, and come on over to our lead page. Now this lead page has two opt-in buttons. I'll show you the end result here. We're going an opt-in button up here and an opt-in button down here. Both of these need to fire up, <laughs> need to pop up an EverWebinar opt-in. But because I set this up and Mandy changed her webinar, duplicated, yeah. changed her webinar, naughty, naughty, it no longer works because that webinar to which that I had integrated with lead pages no longer exists. So now I'm going to go through most of the hard work is done. Uh, I just need to update the script or that piece of code, this piece of code right here that I copied from every webinar. A lot of this code in here is, is junk. It's, it's, uh, it, you know, they make it as easy as possible, I suppose, for you to drop those buttons on your, on your page, as long as you're in HTML mode. But, um, they'll also say in every webinar, 
hey, guess what? You're entering an advanced, <laughs> advanced functionality. You might want to work with someone who understands some HTML in order to do this correctly. You can cause problems. Okay, so what uh, what we don't want to do is because we have two different buttons, often CTA buttons, we don't want to keep ref. We don't want to keep pulling in some of this code. Some of this code you can just kind of call global. Like for instance, this script is global. You don't need to call it or put it on the page more than once. So I can have these two, these two. One is a style sheet for the button and one is uh, the JavaScript that calls up the, the webinar, the evergreen webinar opt-in pop-up that I'll show you in a second. And then this one down here, this image is the image of, uh, of the button, uh, actually is telling, this isn't even visible. This is not the image of the button. This is an image that tracks the visits to this opt-in page. It's called a hidden image pixel, if you will. And you can see all these little variables inside this image are telling Google, or not Google, Web, Webinar Jam slash EverWebinar, hey, for this member, and this webinar, they just made a visit to the registration page. This is really key for your tracking uh, so that you can know how well your thing is working, your opt-in page is working. So um, this also is important. It's telling the people I want, hey, 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 you know what? I want them to register for this member's account and this webinar, okay? So all of that is important. And so because in lead pages, it's, as far as I know, not possible to drop in a button, a lead page button, you know, like say like this, you know, oh shoot, I just want one of lead pages buttons. I'll just grab this because it's not going to give me the option to put in the title fields when I do this see no title, no anything else, then I have suspicion and I tested this that it's not going to, <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to communicate back to every webinar, webinar jam. Hey, 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 this is what I want to opt into. Come on now. So I'm not doing it that way. I'm just using, for the most part, just using ever webinars, uh, strict code, but I'm stripping out stuff that doesn't really matter. Uh, which isn't much. So in this top one, you'll see that what I have you left all that code in there. So I put all this code in here. Um, and then I wrote a bit extra code to just improve the aesthetics of that button because it comes out looking eh, okay. It's kind of small and clunky looking. So I dropped in all of this code, all the code that they gave me once and then only the code that is corresponding to that particular button on the page once. So let me pair this up. I know it's a little hard to see. Actually, I don't even need this image twice. So I will, that's a modification I can make there. So let's put the, let's actually drop all this in a notepad so you can see what's going on. All right, so you can see like the elements, right? So the style sheet is right there. The script is right here. The tracking image pixel is right there. You can see all those things up there. And then this little piece right here is all of the button. So this is the only piece that I need to uh, put in wherever I want a button that pops up the EverWebinar opt-in. The rest of it can be once. So, um, <clears throat> I will only have all of the code in one of the custom HTML widgets inside of lead pages. And then the next one, all I'm going to do is put, sorry, go back over here. I will just put my little button code. So that's saved. You can see that I stripped out the, the link, which was a style sheet. I stripped out the script. I had still left that image and I'm gonna remove that because I don't need that twice on the page. 
and I save. So now it's just the button code. And let's update that and view the page just to see if that's functioning correctly. Now I should click here and it pops up, nothing. That's clearly broken. That's clearly broken. Okay, something's up. So let's go investigate. Uh, oh, shit, duh, it has the old code. Were you trying to tell me that before? Um, and I just wasn't listening. That there's is, all that code in there? This is that, this is the new code. Right. And I'll just keep group this. I, I saw the old code, duh. Okay, so I'll group all the things that are sort of global one-time elements at the top and then my little button. If you don't change anything, how can you expect different results? Sports psychologist, Andy Eaglesmith. Okay, now, now I drop all that good stuff in there. So it's got my one times and my globals. Save that little sucker. It doesn't really tell me that it's saved, but it's hopefully saved. And then I come down here to replace the old button code. That's why it wasn't working, y'all, just in case. This is my theory anyways. And I'm gonna remove the globals. There we go, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, and I'll update that. Now let's take a look. Refreshing. Boom. When, so this is an EverWebinar experience, so I can choose my date. Choose my session once I choose my date. So, wow, this one's starting in, woo wait, right now. We gotta go, Mandy, we gotta go. Gotta get on this thing. Urgency, urgency. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm in. Oh, phew, I made it. Okay, all right. Oh, here's my webinar link. I gotta go, folks. I'm watching a webinar in 30 seconds. Cool. <laughs> All right. So once I go through this, I'll sign up for a discovery session with Mandy and get a very holistic look at my health and uh, psychology. If you didn't know, Mandy's a PhD in psychology, basically, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I mentioned sports psychology because she also is really good at that. We've had many conversations about it, but she's awesome. And you might want to check her out, mandydeaglesmith.com. Oh. Okay, so that's updated. Now let's talk about the final piece where I modified the buttons to look a little prettier. I just came over here to a section of, by the way, all this has to be done to Mandy. Uh, I came over here to a section where um, I can add things to the tracking code section. And I think in the new drag and drop, there's also a, a custom CSS area, but it all goes to the same place. This is gonna go up in the top of the page source, the HTML, and just tells uh, Google, not Google, it tells uh, the browser to render it. So I am modifying the EverWebinar button just to be a little bit bigger, bigger line height, use the same font family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just override, you can think of it as overriding ever webinars uh, in a way I'm doing that. So, and then, oh, look at this naughty, 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 naughty. Okay, so you can see now that I, uh, can you see this? I'm gonna go back. I can see it. Close without saving, close. No, 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 I don't wanna close. Um, what I wanna show you is down here. You can see, oh, there, there we go. Okay, so I had, um, I had thought, well, why don't I just put, those global scripts and links, links out to the style sheets from web, every webinar just in the lead pages source code. Um, especially this one because it's, it's agnostic. It doesn't really care about the member ID or the webinar ID. So I was like, ah, oh, just shoot that up into the, into the global code of the page. And since I know I'm doing it right there inside of that first button, I'm just gonna delete this one so I'm not calling that thing twice. 
So let's save that. And then Mandy, your task is to come in here to the page title description and Facebook title, Facebook description, and ideally upload a little image there so that when people share it on Facebook, it says something um, sexy and attractive and click clickable. Is that computing? Maybe. Okay. Um, so for instance, you'll see like some of the things I've written before for my opt-in pages for Peaceful Media is uh, download one page website homepage guide, right? You might, right. yours might be, um, here, here are the secrets of losing weight that only 5% people know. Something along those, it just like, oh, interesting. I'm curious about that. Okay. And your image and your description support that. And then anytime someone shares this opt-in page to Facebook, social media, if it, if it gives a preview of that page, which Facebook does really well, it, it'll include all those elements. Okay. Got it? Uh, save and close. Okay. So I think that's it. I'm gonna stop sharing. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial about Ever Webinar and lead pages and or a, any custom landing page or website that you're using where you have access to the HTML. All right, peace. Mm -hmm.